Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an EdTech and Curriculum Consultant, founder of ClassTechTips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. I want to talk to you today about how you can conduct an advanced search on Google. So I'm here at Google.com, and I typed in polar bears as my keyword for my search today. At the top, you'll notice that it pulls up all the search results, over 42 million search results, including images, videos, news, books, and you can even see maps, shopping, and flights that are associated with your search. All of this is great, but if you're looking for something really specific, um, you can go into the settings and click on advanced search. So doing an advanced search is going to give us more options to really narrow down our search if we're looking for something very specific. So I'm going to go here to advanced search. Um, it automatically populates my search keyword that I had on the last page. So I'm searching for polar bears. I might have an exact word or phrase, especially if you're searching for a quote, a particular place, or a person in history. Um, you may have a couple keywords. So maybe you're not so worried about polar bear, but you're just looking for animals that live in that biome. So you could type in a couple here. Or maybe you can say none of these words. Like I don't want to have any results that talk about the polar bear at the Bronx Zoo pop-up <laughs> and you can put it in here. There's also the option to choose a range of numbers which is great if you're searching for something related to a numerical value. This is really where um, we can do some neat things with an advanced search. You can choose what language you want your results to pop up in and there's a whole long list. Google will automatically default to where they think you are um, so that's why our results are coming up automatically in English. You can also search by region, so if you want something that was published um, in Albania or Angola, you could click here. Um, if you're searching for something that's kind of time sensitive, like you want the most up-to-date information on polar bears, uh, you could check for something that happened in the past 24 hours. For us, we're not really worried so much about time sensitive information unless there's a big story in the news about polar bears that we want to really focus on and then we might choose from one of these options. You might want the terms to appear somewhere specific in the page. You might want to do a safe search, but what I love is the file type option. This is great if you're searching for resources to share with your students. So I might only want Excel documents to pop up, or I might only want Microsoft Word documents to pop up. We're going to click on PowerPoint because I want to find something that I can share with students that has lots of images and lots of pictures will pop up. I'm not very worried about the usage rates right now because I'm not planning on sharing this outside of the classroom, but you do have the option to find things that you're allowed to modify or use for commercial use as well. So we're going to do our polar bear without talking about the Bronx Zoo um, in PowerPoint form and let's see what we get. So here you'll notice right away a bunch of things pop up and our PowerPoints are um, indicated with that PPT that you see right here. So these will automatically take you to PowerPoint files. So if I click on this and I open up a PowerPoint, I have something that I can see if it's perfect for sharing with students. So when you do an advanced settings, advanced search on Google, you go to the settings and choose advanced search.